Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Legacy Evolution Animated Universe Prowl figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. Then we'll have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We'll have a quick look at how his Evo Fusion gimmick works. But unfortunately I don't have the original animated Prowl figure to do any comparisons with. But what we can then do is see how he displays and becomes part of some of the other figures that have already been released in this toy line and we can also as well have a quick look at how he compares to the other or one of the other more recent motorcycle transformers that has been released um, as well so as i pop here back i'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel if i'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out and then before we open him up i need to thank in demand toys in the uk which is who i purchased this from and as you can see they got him to me nice quickly and safely now we have quickly had him taken out of the box already uh, but i want to quickly have a look at the beautiful artwork on these boxes so because we've got them in robot mode there in the windowless package we've then got the alternate mode on the front and then we've got the full robot artwork on the side and indeed the head and bust just on the side that folds over i do believe that this qr code works if i hold it close enough you should be able to scan that so what i'm going to do now then is take him out of the packaging um, and as i said i have quickly had a quick look at this guy because this is the one that to be honest I am excited to see and I'm most intrigued about it because anybody who's watched this channel for a long time um, will know that the animated universe, in fact, the whole of the Unicron trilogy for me are a huge, well, huge empty chasm because I don't really know anything about them at all. So this is how he came packaged. He was just tied in there. So as you can see, we need to set him free via this just twist it round i'll get rid of that back packaging uh, so yeah so this is a completely obviously prowl's not a different character to me prowl's been around for ages but the animated version of him is and as i said i've not seen this i've not seen the animated cartoon so i'm very intrigued to see the actual figure his instructions are there as well and then i also need to take out his weapons which are on the side as well so first impressions of the figure is i'm really impressed to be honest because um it's a motorcycle and i think that most motorcycle transformers that get made um well at the moment we've you know we've had three recently and we've got the new aerial coming out very very soon depending on when you're watching this video and they've all shared the same legacy evolution rc mold so to see this one being completely different is a lovely lovely change now the head sculpt itself is amazing it looks so great you've got the gold there the silver in the middle of course the blue visor there's full rotation and articulation on it you can see it's like on a ball and socket or a mushroom peg uh, the arms and the shoulders again full articulation side front we've got swivel underneath the shoulder we've got bicep flexion there's no wrist swivel unfortunately and, and i know some people don't really like it but there is a bit of a gap there in the forearms there is a full waist swivel the hips again legs full movement knees ankle tilt rock the works exactly what you'd expect um, for one of these newer figures and i just think the color scheme on this guy really really works you've got the cream or beigey color around here it really highlights the gold makes it stand out um, and indeed the gunmetal gray and everything else on it um, i'm not undecided whether to have this folded up or fold it down it probably should be up it's hard to tell in the instructions but if you hold it down it covers all the screws um, that you can see on the back and you saw me take these two out i've got no idea how these work by the sounds of it they just yeah it sounds like they ratchet out a little bit or maybe there's just one you're supposed to move yeah i think that's it you grab one and then they all come out so these are going to be interesting to see how these attach in motorcycle mode um, and in fact i think that's what we're going to do now because first impressions of this guy he looks very very good so let's do exactly that then let's come back have a look at him in his motorcycle mode before finishing back up with him in his robot and doing some display ideas okay then we're back and as you can see he's already in his alternate mode quick apologies no transformation process on this video that is for a couple of reasons the main one is to keep the length of this video down and the second is not to spoil it for anybody who doesn't want it spoiling for themselves because it's a new figure um again if you want to appreciate that first transformation process for yourself i won't have ruined it for you but again if you do want to watch it it is uploaded in a separate video and i'm loving this alternate mode in fact i, pre I prefer um this alternate mode as if the motorcycle compared to 
the RC mould, uh, which has been used loads of times. I like the RC mould, but I prefer this. I just, I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's because I get Street Hawk vibes, um, which was a show that I used to love um, as a child with the black motorcycle. It just works. If I wanted to be super pedantic, I suppose you can see there's this few screws around here. But otherwise, it looks great. And again, the fact that we haven't got these shurikens either side doesn't really do anything you know it's not too detrimental either way so if you're picking this up on the secondary market and it's missing these it's not too bad um these are just going to pop in like so though which you can see and that's it they all fit there the only thing that is a bit of a problem is sometimes it doesn't balance on this kickstand and the other ah, there we go and of course it has now straight away um the gold on this works really really well these are actually translucent bits of plastic on the back there to be honest which again is a nice little touch handlebars again there's quite a bit of molding detail on that i think it's really good for what it is um and these here these vents on the side um again just a nice neat little mold i'm just wondering what you can do if we can put like maybe a legends class figure uh, riding it or something to be honest uh, crash bar is quite small and funnily enough obviously he's a motorbike as well um would he fit on it yeah i suppose so looks completely over the top though with these huge arm cannons i've put on the side but you could get away with popping him on driving it or riding it shall we say um and it's quite big to be honest it's not as big as the other um as some of the uh, figures that we've had in this particular toy line but it's it's not too bad um we've got the five millimeter peg there and we've got some here that's just turned around a little so you can move that as well and of course we've got oh, if these separate just pop them together via that tab so we've got some five millimeter ports here where if we wanted to let's take kickbacks weapons i'm just taking his because he's the nearest one at hand you can of course grab anything you could pop these in these particular cutouts and indeed you can even put something um, on that part there as well i'm just having a look that's not going to fit it's not big enough uh, what else have we got not too sure to be fair um anything anything's got a five millimeter port in it so let's take no, I was going to put Metal Hawks thing in, but there's no point doing that. I don't think it needs it, actually, to be fair. This also is obviously see-through. You can just about make out his head is tucked in there. To be honest, there's not much more to say about the alternate mode, apart from it does look good. Um, and it's nice and refreshing, again, to have a motorcycle in a mould that's not this one. Right, what we need to do then is come back for the final time with him is robot mode for some display ideas. Okay then, back for the final time with him in his robot mode. We can see how he looks and displays with some of the other figures from the same toy line and indeed how he uses these accessories. Now I've had a proper play with these and I've worked out that what I should have been doing is just holding onto them and as you twist it you can see that I suppose the Evo Fusion gimmick works by itself. So unlike what I did in the first part of the video, you can pull these out, it's not too detrimental, but they work much better if you leave them alone and you just grab either side and twist. They all come out automatically all by themselves. The other thing that I like, I had a little quick play with as well in between, is that these literally do just press in as simple as that. There's there's no difficulty with it at all. They don't get caught. They don't you know get in the way. They're not um, hindered um, at all in any way, shape or form. And to be honest, they don't even really take much away from the robot mode. And what I mean by that is, you know, they don't really stick out loads and loads. Um, uh, so that's pretty much it. As I say, they, you, I would expect them to look perhaps a little bit unsightly or maybe th thicken out his calves, which is, I know he's a robot, but that's pretty much what they are too much. But it doesn't. You can't even really tell um, that they're on. It doesn't take anything away from the proportion of the figure. Now, the only thing that's a slightly different with this is I think this one, we obviously got the five millimeter port on the side of his forearms, but this hand here is completely different, obviously. Um, it still means, though, of course, that we can attach if we wanted to some of the other accessories from other figures onto the side or indeed the guns um, from these will of course still fit but obviously not in this particular hand this particular hand looks like it is more tuned to holding on to these here we go so let's bring them all out see that's because i've messed around with it they didn't come out all at the same time so make sure they're all in i'll grab that one in a minute and we will go with these pop them all out and then I think this will fit. Yeah, that fits much better in there, even though you can still get the other one to fit um, as well. It's just a little more awkward because of how much bigger the hand is. It would have to go right and you'd have to twist it 
on an angle but again you can see there by the stock photography you can hold them both in his hands and it does still work he says as soon as it falls out of course it does i imagine it's just a case of positioning it um in the right way because again you can see it is much much wider yeah i'm going to struggle with that i can see unless maybe we took it in to go i was just thinking maybe we could have took it tucked it under to go into the forearm not really or oh, that's probably the way look right down into the bottom and you will hold it there this side however you want to no issues whatsoever again however like i said in one of the first parts i know that gap is going to annoy people so you're probably not going to want it show it there you can bring them around like so let's have a look then we probably could as i say attach more things to him i've got crash bars accessories here um on the side of his shoulders funnily enough i just like the way they look there and i'm sure even though it won't look anywhere near as good you can if you wanted to then attach these to the side and again because of all the fossilizers the junkions the weaponizers and everything you're going to really be able to power this guy up um as well there we go right let me just take these off very quickly because the one i suppose well, a couple of things to do first and foremost is bring in one of the other motorcycle molds that we've seen in legacy this is of course road rocket um and they suppose they scale really well they're the same height even though they're completely different designs they just seem to work in their own way um i don't know which one i prefer to be fair i'm not but i quite like this mold um this one i think is just that little bit more clever in all honesty and again don't don't forget the transformation process is in a separate video so if you do want to see it you can see it and if you don't want to spoil them for yourself until you get one um you don't have to have it spoiled um they look and scale really well with regards to other figures from the same toy line he's pretty much exactly the same as the rest of the deluxe figures as you'd expect of course he's quite a bit smaller than the voyages uh skyquake's going to tower above him i'm just going to put the sword through there because it's going to get in the way um and with regards to core class figures uh, there's nemesis there's nemesis i want to get the ones from this toy line you see he's obviously much much bigger but i think that's exactly where i'm going to leave this video um especially now <laughs> um but there you go i like it i'm really impressed with it it's something completely different um and yeah it's educated me a little bit into the animated universe anyway let me know what you think of him in the comments have you got him are you excited for him and is you know the unicron trilogy is that your equivalent of generation one let me know in the comments guys take care